Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Knauer at North Carolina State University and today we're going to be talking about using the sound body condition caliper. Now the concept behind the caliper is shown here. As you can see the sow here on the left is very angular in her top. The sow does not have very much muscle or very much back fat. As the sow lays down muscle and back fat her top becomes wider and flatter. Hence the caliper is used to quantify the angle of her top. Uh, the first safety feature we have is the handles as you can see here. Uh, they're designed so you can place your fingers inside so when you're measuring a sow and if she moves you don't get, you don't get your fingers caught between the sow and the metal. The other safety feature that we put on the caliper is the little stopper as you can see right here. So the caliper only goes to that part again to keep, uh, keep it safe for your finger. So as you can see here I've tied a string to the caliper. Some people have gone ahead and started doing that uh, to keep from the, the caliper falling into the pit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate for that last rib and put the caliper right over that last rib. Now after you've done about 500 sows or so, you're not going to need, always need to palpate for the last rib because you're pretty much going to know where it's at and as long as you're within an inch or two, you're going to be okay. So I find that last rib and I bring the tips of the caliper down so they just touch, just touch the sow and I can see that this sow is in ideal body condition. The other way to hold it that it was kind of designed for is you put your fingers right in there. Again, bring the tips down so they just touch the sow, edge of the sow. And you can see that she's in ideal body condition. So once you get going, you should be able to measure sows that are eating. You should be able to measure a sow in about five seconds.